Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the kernel in Hive OS and the reasons why you would want to update it. All right, so here is one of the rigs I have right now. This is a riserless motherboard rig that have a bunch of 6600 XTs on it. I have six of them and we are looking at the kernel here. So we have 5.4 right now and you can see that I can update my Hive OS right now. So if I update Hive OS, it doesn't update the kernel. So let's take a look at that and see if that's true. Let's go to the latest and force upgrade. All right, so now we have restarted the rig. It is up to the latest Hive OS now. And if we scroll down to the kernel, you'll see that it is still the same kernel. So what that means is the kernel and Hive OS are completely two different systems. One is the Linux operating system, which is the kernel, which doesn't change when you update the application, which is Hive OS. If you're running into some issues with the 6600 XTs, I suggest you take a look into updating your kernel. So the reason I'm making this video is because I had some issues with my kernel and uh, someone in the mining community actually helped me out and walked through this and I couldn't really find anyone else that had really gone in depth for the kernel and how to make this update within Hive OS. In order to replace the kernel, you'll have to go to remote access Hive start shell. Afterwards, we'll click on Hive shell in this icon here. A list of options will show up and what you'll have to put it in is hive dash replace space to dash and list. The K stands for kernel. The N stands for NVIDIA driver and the A stands for AMD driver. Afterwards, it'll list out what was the change and they'll also have a beta version as well. So version three had worked out well for me in the past. So let's move this to the latest stable version, which is one. After you get this display box, you'll just have to click yes or type it out, hit enter. At this point, it's going to be downloading the stable image. All right, and it's all done now. So next, this screen won't go away. It'll just stay here forever. So yeah, you'll have to switch over to Hive OS and see where the rig is at. And uh, there we go. We can see that the kernel is now at 5.10.0. So that has been updated. We're on Hive OS. We're on an older version. So we can update the application now. So let's do that as since we have this already updated for the kernel. All right, so there we go. It's updated. It's up to the latest kernel, the latest Hive OS, and it is hashing. For this rig, we did not need to really update it, but for other rigs, I did have to update it. And one example of that is my 6600 XT riseless motherboard rig. This one had to be updated to get it running. It just would not register the cards at all and it had no overclocks. It had nothing in here initially and then it wouldn't even see any card out on it at all. So that was one of the reasons I had to update the kernel. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope this helped out. Please let me know in the comments section below if this has helped you in any way in the past or if you're looking to do this now. All right, guys, so thanks guys for watching the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see other content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next one.